Christian Foxman, Chamberlain, Charles Phillips, and Jonah Harris. Big cheers for something from uh, the Wealdstone fans. It wasn't obvious to me. I'll ask Mick in just a moment, but the ball's back again. They might try a shot from the edge of the area. They do. It's a decent effort uh, from uh, the number 16. Uh, in fact, uh, Wealdstone generously lent him back to Concord. Oh, that's a poor ball in defence. And then uh, Betima finds Andrews. Andrews back to Edsa. All shot getting in all over the place. Cross comes in. Held up by Andrews inside the penalty. Turns. Can he shoot? Can't get his shot away. Falls at his feet. And then the scramble. He's got it again. He's got his shot away. And it's blocked. And then it's cleared to touch. Very, very, um, very scrappy. And then Jack Cook hammers the ball long down the right-hand side where Umera may get onto it, the ball squared and good clearance but only as far as the number 20 who shoots, it's a good save and then a follow-up and uh, Wilston player jumping athletically ends up in a heap on the ground. He's shut down by Whittingham, finds Medi Alito, Alito tries the ball through looking for Lewis, Lewis is there, squares it, it's got to be a tap-in, it is, it's a tap-in and it's an opening goal of the game for Ira Jackson Jr. in the 27th minute. Wheelstone 1, Aldershot Town 0. Here's Mick Payne. Yeah, well, you've got to say it was Medi Alito for me, wasn't it? Medi Alito's got on the ball there. He's got his head up, Rob. That's the thing. He's got his head up. He's seen where the little slide rule ball was down the side of the Aldershot to defender. And uh, you've got to say the Wilson man's run off the back of him. And of course, all he's had to do is then just roll it across the box, and no one was picking up. Was it uh, Jackson? Was it uh, Mo Betema? Is he going to go round the wall? Is he going to go under the wall? Is he trying going to get over it? In, up he steps now, right footed, good clean strike straight into the body of Wickens on target from Betema. Struck it well, but uh, in the middle of his goal, he took it low down Wickens, and any deflection might have been interesting, but he saw that all the way to the edge of the area where Lewis will pick it up but it's well won by Alfie Whittingham and uh, Jaden Harris what an athlete he is he wins it and then he gets away from Ashley Charles he's on the right hand side Whittingham's in the middle square ball Andrews onto it inside the penalty a couple of touches now he's going to shoot he hits the splayed body of Wickens and it goes behind for a corner good battle between Cook and Betima Cook wins it again now Kinsella lifts a ball down the left and Betima's onto it down by the touchline. Comes in on his right foot, shot. Oh, and a brilliant block in front of George Wickens. Met Betima got his shot away on target. For the defender went for a, there's a short one here, Rob. Taken short, in it comes. Far post, Corey Andrews, one touch, inside, shoots. Goal! Corey Andrews, fourth of the season. Great composure, shifted it onto his left foot, unmarked, inside of the penalty area, bang. In the back of the net, Wheelstone 1, Aldershot Town 1. Well, you've got to say, and that's where you know, certain teams go to sleep. The manager of Wheelstone will be absolutely furious with it because they switched off when the ball's gone dead to the corner. You've got to say, Aldershot has seen it, recognised it, took a quick, quick short corner there, great ball into the box, and in the end, you've got to say, it's finished by. Charlie Cooper gives it back to Corley. Corley goes back to Wickens. Aldershot pressing well again. Oh, Jaden Harris is nearly there. He's actually won the ball off of Wickens and then needed one more touch to get it over the line and he couldn't quite do so. Wheelstone one, Aldershot town one. 27 minutes left. Header is in. Straight connection from the head of uh, Denon Lewis, I think. Is it Denon? Who's will confirm the goal scorer, the long throws come in. One header straight into the back of the net, all too easy. And the goal credited to Jaden Harris has had four yellow cards already this season. So he's one away from a suspension now. He'll be a big miss for the shots. There's a great win from Oxley Chamberlain in the heart of midfield. Finds uh, Toby Edson with a bit of space, tries a shot. Uh, and it's only just wide. And then the ball's poked out into touch for a throw into shots. Kinsella takes it inside to Edsa. Ball forward, looking for Andrews, controls it well again, turns inside, taps it home, and the shots are level again. It's a terrific ball in from Toby Edsa, 
And again, Andrews arrives unmarked into the penalty area, shows the composure to put it onto his left foot and pokes it home. So similar was the finish to his first goal. And, uh, well, would you believe it? Wildstone 2, Aldershot Town 2. As he pulled away from the ball there, but there's a lot going on. There's so much going on. It's hard for the referee to pick it all up. Harris pulled down. Oh, lovely touch inside from Andrews. Our Ashria with a shot on target. Comfortable save for Wickens. Fowler wins it. Lovely ball inside from Andrews, looking for Agupong. Agupong goes into the left hand side now, feints the pass, then doesn't play it. Still got the ball. Plays it back to Kinsella. Kinsella inside to Edsa. Edsa into Agupong again. Now he's running the other way across the penalty area. Finds Harris. Harris ball out of his foot. Great strike. Really good strike. Turned behind by Wickens. Out to the left hand side and then to Lewis, but uh, Fowler's won that. 50 50 ball up in the air, but Harris takes it nicely. Out of his stride. And now he plays the ball forward to Andrews. Andrews shot, side netting. In from the right hand side, the angle was tight, but another chance for shots. I think the uh, the flag was up anyway, wasn't it, Mick? I've, I've just seen him put it down. Edsa back to Phillips. Now Phillips will look to lift it over the defensive line where he's looking for Arashria. Arashria has a good first touch. He's got the ball in the, the right hand side of the penalty. A shot over the bar. It looks like the points may well be shared, but is there late drama here at Grosvenor Vale? No, there won't be. The final whistle has gone right in front of the stand here by Gary Parsons and both sides struggling a little bit down the wrong end of the table have to be content with a point this afternoon. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.